I'm driving, right? And I'm seeing over the past couple of weeks, gas prices go from like three oh nine a gallon to three twenty five a gallon. That's that's at least where it is in, in Western Kentucky. Uh and me personally, I don't give a shit. I mean, I just don't think about high gas prices due to the simple fact that uh, we are prepared to deal with these inevitable increases. Uh, we've known about it for years. Uh, and that's why I really don't give a shit. But uh, for most people, they care. And, and, and it's funny how I beg, you know, when I always say, you know, I'm looking forward to high gas prices. A lot of people get offended. And they say, well, why is it that you like high gas prices uh, when the people are go when there's a lot of people going to be hurt by it? You, you know, the people going to be hurt by it, the delusional, the lost, um, uh, the people that uh, are, are carnal, the people that refuse to change, the people uh, that, that are delusional. Uh, those are the people that it's going to hurt the most. Uh, and those uh, kind of folks they don't want to hear the truth. So therefore, you're going to deal with the consequences. You're going to deal with the pain and the suffering associated with it. But what I wanted to talk about right quick was the fact that for for the people that are well positioned, uh, whether they're self-employed, business owners, uh, people that got real plans, real skills, uh, 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 real uh, ideas in terms of uh, what they want to do with themselves and how they want to prepare themselves and their families for the future. What you need to be doing is gravitating towards others that are doing the same. You know, it's amazing what I've noticed over the past couple of years is that people that gravitate towards me and that I constantly talk to, they're clearly doing something. There's no ambiguity in the direction that they are in or the, uh, that they have for their lives and their, their, their family. They're showing clear results. And the people that don't gravitate towards me or, or, or move away from me are the people that don't. When you look at their life, they ain't got nothing going on. So the idea is that when I talk to people that are about something, man, we're talking about ideas. We're talking about how to push things forward. We're talking about collaborations. We're talking about things um, uh, that are similar uh, because we're getting it done. But could you imagine somebody that ain't about shit and ain't doing shit gonna get on the phone and gonna talk to, and talk to me? What are we gonna talk about? What is there to talk? There's nothing to talk about. You know why? Because they ain't doing shit. So what's there to talk about? Because now I'm at the point in time. It's interesting. Just the other day, um, I spoke to somebody I haven't spoken to in a minute. And you know what? The first thing I asked, "What are you doing? Tell me about the increases and the progresses in your life." Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. ain't shit hung up the phone. You know why? Because they ain't shit. They ain't about shit. They ain't doing shit. Leave them kind of people alone. Um, they're a waste of time, energy, effort, resources, brain power. They ain't going to never do nothing to accomplish nothing to produce nothing in their lives. Leave them alone.